How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Turn down for Walt here, and welcome to the JV5, the home for Melee's craziest and most exciting moments of your favorite events. Due to a few unfortunate circumstances, Main Stage 2022 suddenly became the final major offline tournament of the year. As unexpected of a finale as this was for offline Melee in 2022, Main Stage still ended up playing out as an absolute banger of an event, and seemingly the perfect capstone for one of the most competitive years in our game's history. Despite the tournament missing a few of Melee's elite, with some deciding at the literal last minute to make the trip out to California to compete, Main Stage still managed to attract a diverse cast of top players from around the globe. From one Philadelphian Jigglypuff player making his name known on the big stage for the first time, to one Fox main making one last effort to usher in his era as the best player on planet Earth, we're bringing you five of the best moments from Main Stage 2022 in this week's JV5. Game one, Bobby Big Balls versus none in a stock trade to get things going off. Single hit is also, so needs, maybe it's a grab, that's the roll in. Two needs, gets reversed, not played, there's the third one, that can be it. While top Ice Climbers player Slug, as well as burgeoning East Coast Fox main Chem have single-handedly put Philadelphian Melee on the map in 2022, the City of Brotherly Love may have just found its next national contender after Main Stage and its number two ranked Jigglypuff player Dawson. While his offline resume for the year may not be as sound as other notable US Puff mains like SDJ and Toussaint, Dawson has still managed to rack up several respectable placements at majors he's attended this year, like 25th at Genesis 8 and 17th at the Ludwig Smash Invitational, the latter being his first true breakout tournament. At Main Stage 2022, however, Dawson would tie his highest placing in an open offline major by achieving yet another stellar 17th place outing. After making his way past his first two opponents in round one pools, Dawson found himself on the wrong end of a 3-1 loss against SoCal Fox standout Null in a winner's top 64 qualifier match. While this may have marked the end of Dawson's winner's bracket run, little did the world know that the young Philadelphian was about to go on one of the best offline losers runs of his career. First, after dispatching top Tri-State Captain Falcon main Panos in a nail-biting 3-2 set win to make it into top 64 loser's side, Dawson won his next three sets in a row over a few stalwart names in J-Salt, Lunar Dusk, and Ginger before being eliminated from the tournament by Magi. But not before he took the pride of Louisiana Melee the full five-game distance, ultimately losing the set 3-2. And he's oh. able to make it back. That self-same thing again. No way. Soft. Oh, we hit. Right. Oh, that's, that's everything. It. I can't believe he got that. And it seems like neither can he. Popping off. Well deserved. Oh, From one top Philadelphian competitor to another, we have to talk about Slug. Ever since the return of Offline Melee back in 2021, Wobbling was universally banned at every major tournament across the board. While this may seem to be a devastating blow to Ice Climbers players everywhere, the Wobbling ban has in no shape or form been able to stop Slug from arguably becoming a top 10 player over the course of 2022. With top 8 major placements at tournaments like Double Down and the Ludwig Smash Invitational, as well as having compiled wins over Josh Man, Kadoran, Jmook, Mango, and Zane, Slug has gone on not only to assert himself as a bona fide household name in the realm of Melee, but he's also practically reinvented the Ice Climbers meta. For the first two days of the competition, our mallet-wielding hero bashed his way through the winner's bracket like an unstoppable blizzard, making top 16 winner side while also doling out ice-cold L's to several of Melee's hottest rising stars like top European Falco main Frenzy and Canadian Fox standout Soonsei. Top 16, however, is where Slug finally met his match in his first set of the day against Apex 2022 champion Amsa. Though he's had great success against most of the global rankings this year, Amsa has proved to be an entirely different beast or dinosaur as he would send the Philly native careening into the loser's bracket with a dominant 3-0. Although he may have taken a pretty harsh tumble down the mountain after his loss to Amsa, Slug would pull himself up by his bootstraps and climb his way back up by embarking on a three-set win streak, which saw him take down some of the best players on earth like S2J, Kadoran, and Leffen until he was at last vanquished from the tournament by Amsa again, 3-1 in the runback at fourth place. Okay. Is Leffen gonna get oh, his edge guard? By you Was worried Nana. about Nana, yeah. Oh, Blizzard! You get one Blizzard every game, and, bro. And this is the one. <laughs> and there it wow. is. And Slug with the 30 clip. Over the past few months, Amsa has quickly elevated himself from perennial tournament hopeful to a legitimate contender for the title of Melee's best player. And now, after just barely two weeks removed from his capturing of the Apex 2022 crown without dropping a set, the greatest kind of Canadian player has set his eyes on claiming one last trophy to add to the case to end his 2022 with a colossal bang, this time at main stage. 
Continuing from where he left off in New Jersey, the greatest Yoshi player of all time dominantly made his way through bracket, making top 8 winner semis while only dropping a single game the whole way to Magi in top 64, while also picking up a few wins over Eddie Mexico and Slug. In winner semis, Amsa had to cross controllers with one of the best Fox players in the world, IBDW. While Amsa had come up short against IBDW in their most recent bout before at Smash Summit 14, where the number two ranked player in the world just barely won by the skin of his teeth 3-2, Amsa looked to be in prime form after his triumph on the East Coast at Apex just two weeks ago, in addition to being one of the top picks from fans to take main stage as well. Though Amsa would push IBDW to the brink once again, even almost managing to surmount an impressive reverse 3-0 over him, IBDW wound up taking it over his dinosaur adversary once again with another incredibly narrow 3-2 set win. Landing in loser's quarters after his eviction from winner's bracket by IBDW, Amsa would pick up two set victories over Hungrybox and a streaking slug, until he was knocked out of the tournament at a phenomenal third place in a not-so-close rematch with IBDW in loser's finals 3-0. Let's go to the stage. Oh, reverse pair, you see that? Mm -hmm. Great air dodge. The dodge everything. And pretty easy edge guard. Down smash. Yep. Thompson moves on. Stay in your seat, my friend. Got a lot more melee left. In the worldwide race for the throne atop melee's upper echelon, two names stand out the most from the pack. Zayn and IBDW. Almost right from the get-go in 2022, Zayn had established himself as the most dominant force in Melee back during the spring season, with two vintage back-to-back -back major wins at Genesis 8 and Pound 2022. However, this small streak of dominance would peter out towards the beginning of the summer season, which would allow IBDW the chance to knock Zayn off the top of the pecking order by winning three whole major tournaments from May to July. While IBDW would manage to hold the tournament lead over his Marth nemesis for a time until Zayn had tied the score at 3-3 three three by winning Shine, the pair had found themselves at a stalemate for most of the fall season. This was until Zayn finally broke the deadlock by winning one of the most stacked events of the year in the Ludwig Smash Invitational. With Main Stage 2022 being the last major of the year, and with Zayn not being in attendance, the pressure was on for IBDW to make one last emphatic push to cement himself as the greatest melee player in the world. In spite of the pressure looming over him, IBDW did not look hindered at all for the majority of his time in the winner's bracket, as he almost flawlessly swept his way into winner's semis of the championship bracket on Sunday, with the only blemish on his record being an unexpected Game 5 scare against up-and-coming Canadian Ice Climbers player Lunar Dusk. After just barely edging out Amsa 3-2 in winner's semis, IBDW came shine to shine against the resurgent Mango in winner's finals, who himself had already begun to stack up quite the indelible resume for end-of-year rankings. Although he may have won the pair's first ever offline encounter back in July at Gommel 2022, Mango has proven to be quite the bracket demon for IBDW, with the SoCal Melee superstar amassing a staggering 5-1 set record against him over the course of 2022. Unfortunately for IBDW, he wouldn't find much luck here as well, with Mango ultimately clutching out the back-and-forth set 3-2. Despite suffering another loss to the consensus number one player of all time, IBDW wouldn't have to wait too long before another shot at Mango when he had to lock horns again with Amsa in Losers Finals, who IBDW would easily trounce in a dominant 3-0 fashion to secure his spot in Grand Finals. Almost gets the reverse. He tries to grab there. I don't know why. Okay, double roll and the down smash. smash. Up smash. Wow. Oh, I would be mad if I was Four, Amsa. And then forward and up smash too. <laughs> I'd be so mad. Wow. I'd be doing work. From looking like a shell of his former self for the first eight months of the year, to looking like the same player who won back-to-back -back EVO titles in the span of just three, Mango has gone on to not only completely revitalize himself in the last leg of the year, but he's also become one of the most unprecedented candidates to stake a claim towards being considered the best melee player in the world in 2022. Looking as unstoppable as he did during his run at Smash Summit 14 just a month prior, Mango utterly rampaged his way through some of the best players that Melee had to offer, such as Dark Atma, Franz, Sfop, and Moki en route to snatching a spot in Top 8 without breaking a sweat. Top 8 would go nearly as smoothly as the rest of his path through winners, with his only real challenge before making Grand Finals coming up against IBDW in a 5-game barn burner in Winners Finals. Though IBDW would receive his highly coveted rubber match against Mango after effortlessly beating Amsa in Losers Finals, their Grand Final set would mirror their Winners Finals one almost identically, with Mango just barely beating out IBDW 3-2 to take his fourth major tournament title of the year, and just maybe retaking his rightful spot as the best player in the world for a third time in his more than illustrious 15-year career. 
grab, and oh. that should be the stock. Yep. And that is falling up air, swamp top bump. Oh my god, yep, still living. it wasn't actually the stock. No, oh, I couldn't believe it. That only Mega gets those drifts too. That was crazy. Uh, yo, he oh, might be dead. Might down be dead. there, force smash. Oh no, he four tilts. Okay, That's that works. It. Throws the controller down. He said, I'm coming for that number one spot. Wow. Mango. Is that is that a back to back for Mango? We we going Mango old school chance. with it. Look at that. Wins main stage. Hey. Happy birthday, Mango. Happy birthday, Mango. Let's go. I'm turned down for Walt, and this has been the JV5. Drop your favorite Main Stage 2022 moments in the comments. Be sure to subscribe to keep up with all the melee action. And if you really want to help out, consider supporting me on Patreon, where I give out some fun bonus content. Thank you to our top tier patrons and YouTube members, Avishua Stein, Dorian, Eric is Cool, Storm, Tingly Jungle, and Whacked Out for supporting the channel. Now that you've seen the sickest melee from Main Stage, you absolutely need to check out these top moments from the East Coast at Apex 2022. So click on this video and see you there.